And that's gonna cost me. Thank you, Mom and Ian. Made it work in the parking lot. It'll rip your lips off. <laughs> that's good. Get her done. The four amigos. Oh, can't go slow in your right chair and right chair. Definitely goat proof. Yeah. Get it, Marge. Marge is cricket pole. Hey, first goat out. Whole herd's coming. He's out. No, no. Don't cut the cheese. Welcome back to Sleeper Dude 2 YouTube channel. If you've noticed, we built a new building, which means we don't have a fence on that part of the property anymore. Like we used to, because we had to take it down to put our building there. So we're getting a new fence built. Tasha's nephew is actually going to build it for us because we just literally don't have the time. <laughs> So we are going to go to Rule King and get all the stuff to do the fence. We got the trailer hooked up this morning. We've been giving that trailer a workout lately. Hey, it's coming handy. It has been hauling and hauling and hauling is all that thing's been doing. So we're going to go get all the materials. We're going to let you know how much all that costs. And we are going to bring it back here. And hopefully soon, the nephew's going to be by here to start putting the fence up. So all the goats can get up into the woods and the pond mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Because it kind of is a pain having to fill their water up every morning, especially in the wintertime. All right. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Uh, I know y'all like Rule King. Listen, Ooh. no snacks. They got free popcorn. What do you mean no snacks? Oh, well, okay, you can have snacks. And of course, because of where we live, we gotta drive quite a ways to get to a Rule King. We checked around with the other companies we have around here, like the Co-op, Rule King, Tractor Supply, and they usually have the best prices on most everything we buy. We're trying to keep goats in, so we gotta have a pretty substantial fence. If it's loose at all at the bottom, they'll push under it. If it's too short, they'll jump over it. Even a minute, so they'll take them out. Yeah, so we're trying to put up something that'll keep them in because, you know, anybody that's owned goats knows they're hard to keep in. All right, we're here. Yeah, here's all the stuff we gotta get out here. Something like that. We kinda don't fit in the parking space, do we? Yeah. You're still asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can smell the popcorn from here. They got your music playing, Marge. That's what we walked down the aisle to. <laughs> Wall's favorite thing at Rule King is the little turkey stick things. She basically lives off them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They are your favorite. I don't even know why. So she just loves them. I buy them for me and then I can't even eat them because she eats them so fast. We're here to get fence stuff though. Remember that? Fence oh, things. Yeah. We get distracted. You take her to get fence stuff and she's going all through the animal stuff. She'll have some salt lick block. Yeah. You know, like Granny's just wild about. Oh, the babies. Oh, that one's sleeping. They ain't got many chicks right now. It's been a while since we've raised baby chicks. We paid a dollar each for our chicks forever and ever and ever. And the guy would give you extras when you bought them. We need some of these to hold it on, he says. It's like a mad scientist thing. <gasps> it's alive. Because we're getting a bunch of stuff, we're gonna order it up here at the front <laughs> instead of carrying it all. You know why they put this stuff here, right? So you'll buy it when you're checking out. That's not true. Hey, don't fall into these traps, squeeze. Do you have a washed shirt on? Just pointing that out. Yep. Well, that was a mess, wasn't it? <laughs> So we were gonna get 38 panels and after walking out there twice, they had seven. We had to get a different size T-post than what we were gonna get. They had none of the six foot ones. So we had to get six and a half. What's wrong with this world? It's ever since the COVID. Messed everything up. We're gonna have to go elsewhere, I guess, to get the rest of our panels. They didn't have a four foot gate either. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna have to come up with something there. I like that gate. Right. Oh, the red. Yeah. At least they have the T-post, huh? Yeah. Long with the battery, anyway. Case, hold the fence up better. Case Rocky grows. Yeah. <laughs> these are made to hold casing, but they hold these really well. We didn't know it, but it came with free clips, so. Very cool. That worked out good. They were helpful, they just didn't have enough stuff. He's street driving that Monzo. Tubbed and everything. A dad burned full blown race car out here on the street. It's a too. I you Australia it. folks are like, man, I wish we could do that. We take it for granted, I guess, here that we can drive stuff like down the street. On to the next town. We made it to the co-op. That's what we're getting, right? That looks longer. Looks like 20 feet. This stuff, right? Right here. No, different squares. 
Marge, what have you bought? I can see it's not here. It looks longer to me, but it may not be. Looks like they got plenty of it though. Well, we got it bought. All they had was 20 foot and we had bought 16 foot at Rule King. So we're gonna get a bunch of 20 footers and one gate. Cost us a little bit more per foot, about 20 cents more a foot, but it is what it is. You can't buy it anywhere else. Wonder what this bad boy here costs. Man, aluminum, that's swanky swank. Morning. Morning. You know what's gonna happen? What? The kids are gonna make me take them out to eat because oh, it's yeah. almost lunchtime yeah, now. You've waited too. It's been too long. We've drove all over the world today. <laughs> waited on people to check their inventory. <laughs> oh man, it was kind of a mess at Rule King, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's gonna cost me. Something that little gate. I'm going to. How's your mom and him? Your daddy would have tied that down with a grass string. Oh, if, he if that. If he that. might have put the uh, post on top. Let her ride down the interstate, wherever. I have seen her daddy haul so much stuff. Like she grew up, they would haul a bunch of stuff with the car and like Furniture. put it, put it on the mirror of the car. Oh, yeah. And then somebody in the back hold it, you know, kind of thing. I never realized that you're supposed to like measure and know how long your vehicle is, like just to, to go pick up some. We didn't. We just went and got what we needed, and we made it work in the parking lot. He has pulled off some amazing feats Kids with just off, a grass string. Kids take off his shoestrings. <laughs> I think he he may have like a holster with a hey, grass string on. Didn't he tell us he had tied something under his car one time? Yeah, he, I think him and his brother tied something under the car. Like tied to the front bumper, tied to the back on an old car, something longer than yeah, the car. Yeah. Oh man, he can get stuff home without a truck or trailer. It's amazing. Oh, and my mom was like, they moved with a car. Oh yeah. Like it was just them in a car. And they put the couch on top, mattress. They're, if we only had photos to put in here, that would be great. That would be great. Yeah, he can move some stuff now without a truck or a trailer. And now his truck doesn't have a tailgate on the back, and he just go on a chainsaw. Or I'm like, Daddy, you gonna loose chainsaw out? He yeah. just goes out. Yeah, he he's not much on tying things down. Can I please go to Burger King? Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. Yeah. That's Ralphie's go-to. Is Burger King in there? Pretty good. I don't mind hamburgers, but I'm not like a hamburger crazy nut like Tosh and Ralphie are. Didn't you raise her better? She went right through the flowers on the way in here. Squeeze did. Ralphie's going down a dark road. He has really took to sweet tea lately, which is not a good thing. This like is chewy. It's so it's sweet. Not chewy. It's, it's a little chewy. Like there's, you can taste the sugar grains in it. It's so chewy. It'll rip your lips off. I'm telling you right now. That's a good, good. <laughs> cookout got some good sweet food. Sugar's not good for you though. No, it is. Metabolism, you gotta use it while you have it. It's <laughs> not really how that works. Get to hit the spot. No. That took so much longer than expected today. Half a day. I thought we would have this done in like one hour and it took like all day. Let's get this stuff home. Hopefully the nephew will show up soon and get started on this fence project. I'll look at the receipts and let you know what it ended up costing. I don't oh, know. Oh Lord. I don't know what the oh, we do that working for. was. <laughs> YOLO over here. That's good. Oh. 10X Zoom. Get out of here. <laughs> well, look at the receipts. It looks like it's about $3,000 worth of stuff. So that's what it costs. It's what is it, 700 feet long, something like yeah, that, what you're fencing? Yeah. So that gives you an idea of what it costs to put up a fence like that so far. We'll see you guys again when the fence starts to go up. Well, it's a couple days later. It's cold and windy, and nephew showed up to do the fence. He's got a string here set up, so we're going to go down this way, leave enough room to, you know, put things behind the shop, vehicles or whatever. Oh yeah, she's helping me with the tape on the GoPro, thank you. So it's gonna go down, cut back, and then go across the field. So we're gonna have a walkthrough gate here and a drive through here. Let's walk down there and show them. I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna come down to here and cut back. And where they're starting to dig right now is where our posts are gonna be for our drive through gate. 
So it's gonna cut over here and then back that way. And it's gonna stomp right to the right of that half a falcon. So that way the goats and everything can get to all this, which is a priority. Yeah. All right, we'll see what they get done today. Get her done. Well, it's actually been two days of work and obviously it's a very cold morning. They got all the stuff unloaded off the trailer. They got all these posts up and the first few feet of wire up. So we'll see what gets done today. I'll walk down here and show you the big field. I think this is gonna help keep the goats in over here. It's a much better fence than what we've had before. This wire like this, it's really stiff. It hopefully stops them from pushing under, which is a lot of how they get out around here. So this is gonna be the corner here. It's gonna come around here to another corner where that pin is. Then we're gonna have a drive-through gate and it's gonna go all the way to the fence row. So they're gonna have everything from here over there, which they love the brush over here and the pond and all that stuff. So it'll be good for them. Well, it's been a few weeks and we've gone on our trip and came back and we've got to get on fixing this fence. It's taking too long. So I'm covered up with editing. So this group right here, the four amigos are going to go fix the fence. I'll probably help some when the chainsaw is involved. Granny, of course, is going to help. He won't let me chainsaw it. Yeah, I don't think she's ready for chainsawing yet. Y'all have fun. Let me know if you need help. Just messed up and we gotta fix that or else they can walk through like right chair and right chair and where the river runs through we gotta get that stump up out of the way yeah we got this tree stump over from here to there Woo! now we're gonna put up this piece which is definitely goat proof hopefully it'll work yeah because they could just walk right through right here yeah very they easily they don't like water so they probably wouldn't but the pigs definitely would yeah It'll work. What you reckon? No, they, that, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't gonna get under that water. Come on! Yeah! Yeah, come on! <laughs> Good job, mother. Look at all this. All this wire is messed up. It's from the deer. All of this. Oh, yeah. it out. oh wow. So Marge can't cut down the trees. So this guy. Marge just isn't trusted to cut down trees. Yeah. Uh, especially when Barb is nearby. We're here to help. For the first time. <clears throat> so yeah, it all looks like this or worse. Yeah. Uh, or worse. Yeah. The is worse. fence post, Mort. <laughs> yeah, it's broad all the way through, isn't it? It's a mess. Oh, yeah, there's a stump. Yeah. Get a put a new post in here. At least this one's tame. I don't got to worry about her biting me. Yeah. Chain came off my chainsaw. She's oh. always been pretty sweet. We're trying to cut all these limbs off the top here that are touching the wire. Every few years, I fix my neighbor's fence rope for them. They really appreciate it. Get it, Marge. Yeah. So I think this is the last fence post we got to put in, and that tree has fallen. We had to go to tractor supply and get some insulators because we were out. So I think if we put these couple insulators on, it might uh, work. It might work. It's hard to keep electric going when there's uh, yeah. all the trees because limb falls and then you're grounded out. But goats are goats and they're really hard to keep in. Let's go. Woo! You look like a wild boar. Yeah. Hey, donkeys. Bureaus. Okay. All right, while well, you got that on there. Yeah. So don't look at Marge's cricket pole. Yeah, that was. Because that's, you know, neither here nor there. Got it? Yeah. Good thing that fence ain't on. Wait, ain't you done that enough? 
What's up, Birch? Well, do you think you guys have got it all now? Yeah, there we do. Couple days work. Apparently. The goats are gonna love all these little trees and limbs we cut down in here. This way, I'll be able to get the pond. You won't have to water them. When the water's up, we have a creek that runs through here. And actually, when we bought this place, you couldn't even see the creek. That's how many trees were here. We did a lot of work when we first moved here that we never videoed. But now the goats will be able to get back over there yeah. and be closer to the big shop. All right, let's let them out and see what they do. Come on, buddy. He's like, am I allowed on this side? Hey. Hey, goofball. Oh, of course, Rocky's the first goat out. Look, she's going to go the other way. <laughs> Two-lane traffic. Carl's never been over here. You want to go in the big field? Go down to the pond? Come on, George. Let's go check it out. Come on, this way. Come on down here. Come on, let's go. We got a new gate. You can go check it out. He's going to get you. Murphy does not know where he can go yet. Is this okay? There you go. The whole herd's coming now. I figured this out. <laughs> Rocky leading the way. There you go. There's some grass. That's better than a hay bale, right? They got to check out every piece of wood along the way. Look, they're after it. Who can get the biggest piece of grass first? Come on, let's go down the pond. Come on, goaties. Yeah, Murphy's already down here. He's going to be a mighty man. Oh, yeah, he'll be... He won't be wide anymore, will he? Oh. Yeah, get in that. He's like, don't mind if I do. There you go. That's fun, huh? He'll definitely be in there in the summertime. Cooling off. You're going to be so dirty, Murphy. You're going to cross the creek. Come on, you big baby. He's not sure about how to cross this yet. Come on, you big baby. You got it. Just step over it is all you have to do. <laughs> he don't know what to do. He's out. They're up there grazing still. Come on. That's easier, huh? Oh, big stuff. Good boy. The goats have decided there is no reason to go past this point right here. Even though they have all the way up into there. They just want to eat the grass here first, so. Exactly, the grass mom planted out here. So they're going to eat all that down to nothing. And then decide to explore the rest of this place, but... Murphy likes it though, huh? We'll be able to see him right out the back window of the shop now. That's cool. This is real close there, George. No, no, you're not stepping on me. No. That big nut found squeeze a sock. Look at him. You're a, just a nut. You're just a nut. Granny, what are we going to do with him? I know what he's looking for. He needs to find his meal somewhere else. It's nap time. <laughs> He's a mess already. Hello. You'd like to be up close and personal. Oh, hey now. Be nice. Be nice. He's checking it all out. Making sure it's safe. Well, you guys did good on the fence. Good job. Sorry I wasn't more help, but you know, somebody's gonna make a living around here. You ought to see the goats in the background of some of these videos now since they're closer to the building. They have a great fresh water source and more food and everything else. So it's going to be a win all the way around. Yeah. Woo.
Except for my wallet. Thanks for watching Sleeper Dude 2. We'll see you guys in the next video. You got any advice for us, guys? Uh, don't cut the cheese on an airplane. <laughs> yeah, or in confined spaces. That's solid advice. This is exactly why we haven't let you on a plane yet. <laughs> Alright, there's rules against these kind of things. You can check out our merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. We got hats, hoodies, stickers, we got shirts, squeezy artwork, Ralphie welding artwork. I mean, who wouldn't want that motorcycle right there? Also, we got wall wall pencil drawings. We got keychains, a little bit of everything. Thanks for your support. Woo!